Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you some non-phone work from home jobs that pay between $21 and $45 per hour and don't require you to have a lot of stress. So these are some low stress non-phone work from home jobs. So the first one you might want to check out is at a company called Optum, which is a healthcare company and is actually kind of like a sub company of United Health, which is a parent company to Optum, a very large healthcare company as well. And they have a data entry related position available right now. It was posted at Explore Job Search. It's a facility data quality analyst, which is a remote position and it is full time in a data entry related position, as you can see. And this is allowing you to telecommute from anywhere in the United States for a very well known uh, healthcare company. Again, Optum, which is part of United Health Group. And this is full time, Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. are normal hours for their business. And shifts will be somewhere in there at eight hours per shift. Primary responsibilities will be to perform routine or structured work, respond to routine or standard requests, use existing procedures and facts to solve routine problems or conduct routine analysis, validate facility data from source of truth documentation or business process systems to ensure that information loaded is accurate, analyze facility data against applicable job aids, policies, and procedures to identify potential issues or inaccuracies, review history of previous data load on a facility record, maintain reporting infrastructure as appropriate, develop and deliver fact-based audit determinations, escalate issued identified during the audit cycle or calibration process to applicable stakeholders, ensure compliance with applicable audit and calibration timelines, achieve production quality goals and metrics, provide supporting documentation for audit findings, manage audit inventory to ensure proper workload balance, coverage and closure, identify, communicate and escalate errors and defects and ensure proper resolution. You'll work independently based off of prior instruction, guidance or direction, be awarded and recognized for your performance and things like that. Required qualifications, high school diploma, GED or higher, one plus years of experience in a facility contract and or clinician data management transaction organization, one plus year of experience with Microsoft Word, Microsoft Outlook and Microsoft Excel, as well as Microsoft PowerPoint. Ability to work an eight hour shift Monday through Friday. Uh, preferred qualifications, which are, which are not required, but would be great um, to add to your resume. One plus year of experience with theories, practices, and procedures related to facility contract data loading, working knowledge of one or more lines of business, Medicare, Medicaid, and commercial, uh, no working knowledge of one or more platforms like OBH, FACET, CESP, NDB, or Cosmos, uh, working knowledge of Medica facility contract data loading, demonstrate knowledge of quality process, methodology, Six Sigma philosophy, Telecommuting requirements, obviously you're working from home, don't really even need to go over that. Ability to keep all the company's sensitive documents secure though, if applicable, that's one thing you might wanna keep in mind. Um, soft skills, ability to organize data in a logical manner, deploy self against goals and objectives, uh, maintain calm and focus under pressure, flexible and adaptive, understand the successful collaboration involves equitable give and take, understands the need for productive relationships, ability to communicate clearly, verbally, and in writing, and requires all new hires, employees to have their COVID-19 vaccination status clear. Uh, so they tell you in certain states where you have to disclose salary for certain jobs, so Colorado, Connecticut, and Nevada happen to be those states, those states, is 21 to $42 per hour according to those states. Also, in addition to salary, you, off, you get benefits like uh, incentive and recognition programs, comprehensive benefits package, stock purchase, 401k, and obviously things like health insurance and stuff like that. Um, so lots to go with this job. Again, it's a data entry related quality analyst position. You can look for more jobs by going to optum.com and you can go to uh, the bottom of optum.com and find careers under company. And then you can see they'll have lots of different jobs available. They also have a link to their benefits here, which is actually a PDF that you can look at, which will go through all the, you know, bits and pieces of their benefits packages. As far as what it's like to work at Optum, first off, let's look at salary. So you are a 
data quality analyst. So if you look up data quality analyst, you will see that you can get paid very well here. So you have a 93,000 a year estimated total pay, 64 or 65,000 a year in base and 28,000 a year in additional pay. That's based off of two people who have had this job and provided their salary. So 6,000 reviews for Optum, lots of things you can look through, uh, 3.7 out of five star rating. Benefit wise, they also have ratings as well with a 3.7 out of five star overall rating. Next, you have a company called Change Healthcare. So yeah, another type of healthcare company. Apparently, healthcare companies like to hire for data entry related jobs. Um, these are some of the most common uh, category of companies that I've seen with data entry related jobs, which are great because they're low stress, they're no phone, you don't have to deal with people all the time, most mostly. And at Change Healthcare, they have a data entry operator position in multiple locations, very recently posted just four days ago as of me rec uh, recording this. Fully remote US, as a data entry operator, you will provide analytical as specialized administrative support. Core responsibilities, uh, perform administrative tasks as assigned, analyze problems, determine approach, compile and analyze data and prepare reports, as well as at recommendations. Identify any issues or trends and bring them to the attention of management. Work is generally of a critical or confidential nature. Assignments may be found in various functional areas. Work on special projects, other duties as assigned. So not a whole lot here. You're basically analyzing data and uh, high school diploma, vocation training, and equivalent experience. Those are some of the things that are requirements. One plus years of administrative support experience. Experience working with clinical hospital systems or medical billing is an asset, which usually means not required. Ability to meet position performance goals, strong written and verbal communication skills, knowledge of Adobe Pro and Microsoft Excel, Excel spreadsheets, working in a virtual environment. General office demands are going to be part of this, obviously. Basically, can you sit at a computer for long periods of time is what they're basically saying. Unique benefits, flexible work arrangements, paid time off, eight paid holidays, two floating days or holidays, volunteer days, employee giving and matching gifts program, community awards, things like that. Ready, set, and grow career development and access to Change Healthcare University for other types of learning and development. And then uh, lots of diversity, inclusivity, and you might want to read through some of the things about um, if you're in California and your COVID-19 vaccination status and things like that are some of the things they also mention. So again, you can go to changehealthcare.com to learn more about this company. You can go to their Glassdoor page to read reviews. They have a rating overall of 3.4 out of 5 stars for their reviews as far as salary goes. Typically, something like this pays around $21 per hour. As you can see, it's about $41,844 a year for a data entry operator here at Change Healthcare. And that is actually on their Glassdoor page submitted two salaries from actual employees. And then benefit wise out of 708 benefit uh, ratings, I guess, or total comments and ratings, they have 3.6 out of five stars overall. So hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily videos like this one. You can click the link in the YouTube video description to learn more about this and apply. And I'll see you in the next video.